Item number, SCP-7759, Object Class, Pending, Special Containment Procedures, Not Yet Finalized, SCP-7759 represents an ongoing containment crisis. Information regarding the anomaly's case file shall be restricted to L4 clearance until further notice. The profile of SCP-7759 is presently being developed by the Emergent Threat Tactical Response Authority, or ETRA, and Project Heimdall's staff. Update 10-23-43 All Foundation sites possessing radio receivers have been placed under indefinite lockdown. Incoming signals, regardless of their apparent source, are to be treated as hostile anomalous vectors. Description SCP-7759 refers to the former FSS Hades-1, a Foundation-built space station located in the Kuiper Belt. SCP-7759 was originally intended to function as a containment site for particularly high-risk SCP objects, as well as a forward operating base for acquisition and study of other extraterrestrial anomalies. Initial construction and crewing of SCP-7759 were performed in 2034, and the station operated without issues for nearly a decade. However, in late 2042, a disaster of unclear nature occurred aboard SCP-7759. The inciting event appears to have been a modulated radio transmission received by SCP-7759's telescope array. Shortly after the signal was reported, outgoing missives became fragmentary and panicked, seeming to imply the sudden invasion of an unknown agent which was causing mass structural damage within the station. All contact with SCP-7759 was lost shortly thereafter. In order to determine the cause of these events, High Command authorized an exploratory probe mission. This resulted in a catastrophic loss of assets. As the probe approached SCP-7759, it was rapidly subsumed and destroyed by an indistinct mass which emerged from nearby docking ports. It is presently believed that SCP-7759 has been integrated with, or assimilated by, a swarm of extraterrestrial nanotechnology. These devices are self-replicating at a rapid rate, and drastically altering SCP-7759's layout, repurposing existing infrastructure in addition to fabricating entirely new additions via raw materials from nearby asteroids. The full extent of SCP-7759's modifications are unknown, but the following has been ascertained. SCP-7759's exterior has been heavily reinforced with layers of metal shielding, presumably sourced from ore-rich asteroids. Numerous clusters of radio equipment are installed across the hull of SCP-7759. It is estimated that 50% of these emitters are active at any given time and broadcasting to unknown parties. Notably, some are similar in design to the standard comms package used by Foundation exploratory probes. Certain sections of SCP-7759's hull are perforated by deep, perfectly rounded holes which emit high quantities of blackbody radiation. The exact function of these holes is not yet known. They may represent a form of heat waste disposal or camouflaged weaponry installation. All viewports have been occluded from the interior by a dark substance, which appears to be in constant motion. Flashes of red light can occasionally be discerned. SCP-7759 as a whole has grown in size by approximately 30%. New modules are fabricated and incorporated into the structure on a bi-monthly basis. While the purpose of these modules is uncertain, they appear to follow standard Foundation construction guidelines. Analysis of what is occurring inside SCP-7759 has proven highly difficult. Remotely operated probes are typically only able to submit small amounts of information before they are destroyed. Recovered images appear to show large-scale industrial operations using a mixture of unknown devices and modified Foundation technology. It is unclear if this indicates higher intelligence on the part of SCP-7759 or is simply programmed behavior. Curtailing the anomaly's expansion, in particular before it develops spacefaring capabilities, is considered an urgent priority. Addendum 1 – Firefly Project The primary obstacle to directly exploring SCP-7759 is signal lag. Any information transmitted to or from the Kuiper Belt is subject to a severe delay. 
As a result, probes sent to SCP-7759 cannot be operated in real time. Any successful exploration would require instant communication between the exploring agent and mission command. Recent breakthroughs in paratechnology yielded one possible solution, an experimental psionic interface which, via allows complex machinery to be operated through a mental link with a living being. The consciousness of the operator essentially inhabits the device in question, permitting exchange of observations and instructions with no delay. While not yet approved for widespread use, this technology was deemed of interest to the containment of SCP-7759, and ultimately implemented into an unmanned space probe codenamed Firefly. The probe's primary mode of thrust is a pair of contained ion drives. To ensure its survival within SCP-7759, it is electromagnetically shielded and equipped with EMP saturation weaponry. The Firefly probe was launched in September of 2043 and reached its destination in October, at which point it was inhabited by a volunteer on Earth. Consult Addendum 2 for findings. Addendum 2 Exploration Initial stages of the mission proceeded without issue. As it approached, Firefly reported unusual but ultimately harmless phenomena. 13 minutes. Devices arrayed around primary docking port of SCP-7759, resembling weapon embankments. Was tracked by said devices during approach. However, no shots were fired. Experiencing a sensation of being watched. Most likely psychosomatic. 15 minutes. Red light visible within SCP-7759. Source unknown. Proceeding with caution. Initially, Firefly's EMP weaponry proved highly effective against the nano constructs inhabiting SCP-7759. The probe was thus able to largely avoid damage. Over the course of its exploration, it noted a number of unusual occurrences. 23 minutes. Layout highly variable. Station modules are relocated frequently, often with no regard for their inhabitants. 31 minutes. Behavior of SCP-7759 nanites inconsistent. Some constructs passively observe. Others respond to my presence with overt hostility. 39 minutes. Pass through Botanical Bay. Hydroponic planners apparently being maintained meticulously. All empty. 44 minutes. Almost all heavy containment cells vacant. Two in use. Sole contents were inert piles of regolith. 53 minutes. Several humanoid constructs occupying research bay, engaged in mutilating one another with makeshift tools. 55 minutes. Correction to previous report. Constructs appear to be mimicking a dissection. SCP-7759 began to exhibit increasing hostility over time, apparently taking more drastic measures to destroy the Firefly probe. Reports became brief and vague as the danger of the situation escalated. As such, many of the ensuing events are still under investigation. 1 hour 4 minutes. Widely distributed swarms being deployed. EMP saturation only effective at close range. Outer chassis incurring gradual erosion damage, apparently on a molecular level. 1 hour 27 minutes. Traveled through data center. All computer servers subsumed by metallic growths, composed of interlocking plated segments and lengths of fiber optic cabling. Presumed large scale nanite construction. Growths appeared to slowly undulate. Possible visual artifact. 1 hour 43 minutes. Rightmost sampling arm severed by abruptly closing bulkhead. 1 hour 45 minutes. Attacked by roughly 200 fabricated copies of own sampling arm, emerging from wall seams and exposed circuitry. Heavy damage. Repairs urgently needed. Fleeing to auxiliary airlock. 2 hours 13 minutes. Unable to find auxiliary airlock. Restructuring of station layout presumably responsible. 2 hours 24 minutes. Entered unknown module. It is believed that this module was the station's fabrication plant, extensively modified from its original form. A spike in the subjectivity of reports was noted at this point. 2 hours 25 minutes. Visibility suboptimal. High density of nanite swarms and macro scale constructs, some appearing similar to lost sampling arm, restricting my movement and gradually pulling me forwards. Glaring red light ahead. Request assistance or guidance. 2 hours 27 minutes. Light source is a massive pillar composed of nanites. Surface of pillar is shifting and rippling. Fabrication devices appear to have been integrated into its interior. Constant activity producing the red light seen earlier. Occasional bright flashes accompanied by high production of nanites. Request assistance urgently. 
Two hours, 30 minutes. Center of Pillar is opening. The arms are lifting me towards it. Request assistance, please. Further details could not be obtained. At this point, the Firefly operator on Earth began to seize and thrash uncontrollably. Subject was quickly restrained by attending personnel so as to prevent self-injury. It was found that, due to an unprecedented amount of negative sensory input, the operator's mental link with Firefly could not be severed without risking severe psionic backlash. They were remanded to the medical wing and kept under watch. The subject remained entirely unresponsive to outside stimuli, displaying only brief periods of lucidity during their seizures. Coherent excerpts are attached below. There's probably a good reason you haven't brought me back yet. I... I get it. I can't see. Command. Uh, a thousand needle teeth are eating me alive. I can feel them in my head. I've lost three birthdays already. My father's face. My... All my water egress training. How long will... They didn't kill the crew. You know, just just repurposed their bodies. What they had in their heads was more important. That's what they want, don't you see? They want to understand us, and they're devouring us to do it. I... I get it now. Secure. Contain. Protect. Of course, they try to do things our way. They wanted us to send them our best tech. It was a sampling transect. We're so stupid. So fucking stupid. God. God. You start to see the Predator's point of view. <laughs> Way down in its digestive tract. <laughs> They've lived for longer than we can imagine. Riding the signals. Seen everything. Living nebulas, <laughs> moons covered in black mold, <laughs> and they want more. They're so hungry. So hungry. Parabolic arc, slingshotting off Jupiter's Lagrange point. When can I go home, Command? If you turn your ears to the sky, you'll understand the singing in the stars. All for them. <laughs> <laughs> Further attempts at communication were ineffectual. In the interest of denying SCP-7759 further access to Foundation intelligence, the subject was terminated via gunshot. The remains continued to spasm until incineration. Addendum 3. Urgent update. SCP-7759 has begun to accelerate out of the Kuiper Belt and directly towards Earth. Its method of thrust is unclear, however, particle emissions have been observed which are consistent with controlled ion propulsion. Orbital trajectory measurements indicate that the anomaly will reach its destination within six months. Concurrently, a number of Foundation facilities received transmissions from SCP-7759. These facilities are now under Class NK quarantine due to the rapid appearance and spread of hostile nanotechnology, evidently originating from on-site fabrication plants. Reclassification to Keter is pending. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Brody Hartman, Rubbishbin69, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.